wanted to do a few other things that will uh, delight LV12 customers. So I'm, I'm here to talk to you about those. So for the last 40 years, Lynn has been on a mission to eliminate areas of loss in the HIFI system. And you've heard a lot of that from Keith today. We're still making improvements to our very first product, the LP12. And I'm going to talk to you today about our latest upgrade for the LP12, Core, which is a sub-chassis. So you seem to already know about it, because you've spoken to me and said, what about this Core? Which is quite funny. <laughs> no, I was in the big, uh, in the big canteen. There was already... Uh, yeah, OK. Yeah. Um, I'll start by giving an overview of how the product has been engineered so you can understand why it makes such a difference. And this will hopefully enable you to uh, pass this on to the customers as you're talking to them. So the sub-chassis forms an important part of the sonic performance of the LP12. Um, and over the years, we've continually made improvements to it. So it's had formed edges. We had uh, some forms that were put in here to strengthen it. It had this part that was first welded on and then glued on. We've made many improvements. <coughs> and these have all been attempts to make it a more rigid and solid part. The arm board that mounts onto this has also had several improvements over the years. And you can see that by the history lesson upstairs with the, the several decks that are up there. It's gone from being a single piece of MDF to being a multi-layered laminate composite that it is now. And again, this is to, be, to try and make it more rigid. The arm board and the sub-chassis are mounted together in the current design with three screws. And this assembly has the potential for twist because of the small contact area between the two parts. And it's also in the center. So where we're putting the arm is off-center and there's the potential there for movement. The collar is mounted into the arm board. And as you can see, this doesn't allow for the direct connection between the arm and the bearing because the arm board is in the way and acts almost as a damping layer between the two. So in 2006, a long time ago now, uh, we eliminated these sources of loss with the introduction of Keel at climax level, which was a machine from solid subchassis, which if you ping, you can hear everything is connected. And one of the interesting little anecdotes that we have from the development of this is that the very first part I had made was made from the same material we used to make climax products. And the later ones were made of a different alloy, and there's actually a difference in performance between the two. And the ones that ring longer sound better when they're built into a deck. So we kind of discovered that there's a, there's, a, there's a direct link between how well the pieces of the system are connected and how the deck sounds finally. So now we have core at the accurate level. Core continues to be an assembly of a sub-chassis and an arm board. Um, but you can see that the sub-chassis has actually been made up of three pieces of aluminium that have been bonded together. Uh, you can, I'll pass a piece around later on. You can see there's a third piece inside, so it's been bonded into the middle of the structure. Um, and the arm board is now <coughs> machined from solid, providing the ultimate <coughs> stiffness and rigidity in much the same way that the keel did. The assembly of these two pieces has been improved in a number of ways. We are no longer limited by the surface area in the center for the mounting. The surface area has been, the contact area has been increased almost to the edges of the arm board. So it's dramatically reduced the potential for twist. Instead of three small wood screws, the arm board has actually been bonded onto the sub-chassis. And it now means that it exhibits the properties of a single piece. Because it rings as a keel does. And these are all prototype parts from my desk. So mm -hmm. some of the gluing has been improved upon. <laughs> okay, so before you start pointing things out, and the sub the sub-chassis part is always painted. That was the other question in the first uh, the group. Yeah. Um, instead of the... Uh, sorry, I've lost my plot now. Uh, the arm is now connected directly to the bearing. So because we're mounting the arm and the arm collar through here, the bolts are clamped onto the same piece of aluminium that's mounting the bearing. Okay, so we have a direct connection. The core is fully manufactured in-house using our new CNC machine for the arm board and existing sheet metal that we have downstairs for the sub-chassis. Because it's made up of two pieces, there will be a new magic level sub-chassis, which will be available separately on the spares list to order. It will also replace the existing sub-chassis and become the new standard sub-chassis for all products shipping from next week. Um, the recommended retail prices for these products are £750 for the core and £300 for the new sub-chassis. To summarise, we now have 
three levels of performance. Keel at climax, core at accurate, and the new subchassis at magic. Okay? So with the magic one, you would fit your existing arm board and collar, but you still gain a lot of the advantages that you have because you've got the big surface area and you're bolting straight through onto the aluminium. So the three of them have a demonstrable difference in the performance level to the next one. Um, that's all. <laughs> Get your orders in.